Okay, uh, this question is uh, from six, yeah, C7, IXL, scale drawings, word problems. Uh, it is pretty much uh, the same as C6. We are going to set up a proportion, get the x by itself kind of thing. Okay, so the two different, oh, sorry about that, uh, the two different uh, units we have, millimeters and meters. So six millimeters to 36 meters is what we have. We are going to try to figure out how many meters is one millimeter. So one millimeter, the millimeters goes at the top, divided by the x number of meters. Multiply six by x, it is six x equals 36 times y, one is 36. Get the x by itself, divide each side by six, so x would be equal to six. So the reason we are doing this, by the way, I, as I solved the question, I, I know I said six millimeters equals to 36 meters, it is nonsense, it is not, and they are not equal at all. But uh, we have a scale drawing probably on a piece of paper, and then the actual length or width, whatever it is, I didn't read the question totally, but I know that it is about scale drawings, I know if I'm setting it up as 6 millimeters equals to 36 meters, I think it's pretty reasonable to ex assume that uh, one of them is the sketch, the other one is the actual length. Okay, I'll, I'm going to uh, jump on to the next question, uh, and I'll see you for that question. Okay, uh, here is level 2. Once you, have, once you make it to 10 points, this is the kind of question you're going to get for C7. Once again, we are doing scale drawings, set up a proportion, figure out what your unknown is going to be. So what I know is one inch equals two miles. One inch equals two miles. My answer is the unknown is the inches. So I'm going to put a variable for the inches line. For the miles, that's my number, eight miles. So if one inch equals to two miles, figure out how many inches is eight miles. That's the question. So x times 2 is 2x. It equals to 8 times 1. Divide each side by 2. Get the x by itself. x equals to 4. Uh, let's see the next level, by the way, and see how difficult that question is going to get. Okay, uh, here is the third level, so-called third level, because the question is pretty much the same. I don't know why they made this another level. So we have 1 inch uh, to 9 feet. You're going to figure out how many feet is 6 inches. So 6 inch, inches goes at the top, feet goes in the bottom. Let's do cross multiply. X equals 9 times 6 is 54. That would be the answer. Let's see the next level. Okay, here is the next level. Once you have 81 points, you're going to see, or maybe 83, 84. Uh, you're going to see a similar, a similar question to this. Uh, this is not necessary. Uh, because it in, uh, it includes conversions. Uh, if your goal is getting 70, you don't need to watch this part. If not, uh, let's go ahead and figure this question out. So this is what we have. Uh, 9 millimeters, that's the scale, equals to 5 meters. Uh, the question is, what scale factors does the drawing use? Simplify your answer and write it as a ratio using a column. So this is the kind of thing that I'm going to write like, one to one thousand or like three to five hundred these are just examples okay what I have is nine millimeter to five meters so to I, I want to have the same unit in the end so I can just drop the units and then figure out what the ratio is. 9 millimeter is, is a smaller unit, it is more precise, that's going to stay the same, millimeter. And I can convert the meters, uh, the meter uh, to millimeters by just adding 3 units to the end. So this 5 meters is the same as 5000 millimeter. Uh, if you still don't know the conversion or how to convert these two, uh, from one to the other. Uh, you can just Google it and then figure it out. And then next, we drop the units because we have the same unit in the numerator and denominator. So they are gone. And then 9 to 5,000 would be my answer. So I would put 9 to 5,000 in my box and then submit my answer. So that's it for C7. Uh, let's see you guys on, in the other video for 
another AXL assignment.